Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and I'm here one more time at the Rock Island Auction House. Uh, this is one of the rifles that they are selling in their, well, currently ongoing June of 2017 regional auction. We took a look at this Steyr Scout rifle a couple days ago, but I want to take a closer look at its sling, because this is a little bit of an interesting and unique idea, and deserves some attention. This is what's called a Ching sling, uh, and that's named after the guy who developed it, a guy named Eric Ching. A uh, long-time gunsmith, or a gun sight student, and a disciple, you might say, of Jeff Cooper. And one of the things Cooper wanted was a better way to use a shooting sling. And when Cooper was in the military, um, the US was still teaching the doctrine of a shooting sling. And this is something that, to this day, is still uh, an important part of match shooting, uh, long-range competitive riflery. And the idea is you have a sling that actually allows you to loop your bicep through the sling at about this position, and put a lot of tension between your support arm and the forend of the rifle. And you've probably seen a, a US model of 1907 shooting sling, or sling. You know, it's leather, it's got like three or four layers to it, and a bunch of fancy brass hooks. That's designed to be used as a shooting sling. And it really does give you a definite improvement in potential accuracy, uh, primarily from a prone position, but kind of from any supported position. The downside is it takes a long time to get into, and a long time to get out of, and it's kind of an awkward thing for doing anything other than shooting. As a result, while the US military taught the use of the shooting sling for a long time, uh, through World War II, I don't think any GI ever actually used it, because it was just too awkward to deal with. Great for matches, terrible on the battlefield. And the Ching Sling is an attempt to get that same utility that you would get from a shooting sling without having the awkwardness of something like the US 1907 pattern sling. So what this is, is a three position sling. We've got an attachment on the back, the front, and one in the middle. Uh, we have basically a standard carry strap sling running from the front to the back, and then this third leg hooks to the rifle here, and it has a sliding buckle at the other end. There is then also a stop that's screwed into the sling, and it's adjustable so you can move it um, up and down, and that's why there are all of the holes in this section. And what this does is this creates the bicep loop for you. So in order to use this, all I have to do is put my arm through this part, hook down on, well actually it's the tricep, not the bicep, and loop my hand through the sling. And right there, if I have the stop properly positioned, I will have the appropriate length of a loop in the sling right here to put a nice amount of tension on the rifle and make it a more stable shooting platform. At the same time, it's really quick and easy to get into and out of, just like what you would call a hasty sling, which is kind of an ad hoc way to do this with a shooting sling. However, it's putting all the tension on the front end of the rifle like a shooting sling does. So you get the benefits of a shooting sling, but it doesn't take nearly as, time, as much time to get in and out, and it's not as awkward. And when you want to just carry the rifle, well, you can carry it muzzle down, obviously quite easily, just like that, and muzzle up, same thing. You're carrying it through this strap. This middle strap can slide up and down to wherever is convenient, and it just doesn't get in the way. One other thing that I want to point out, because if I don't mention it, I know a bunch of people will notice it and ask, I have deliberately put a half twist uh, in the front of the sling, and that's done because it fits the sling better around your wrist when you do it that way. So that's a, a deliberate choice there. So that is the Ching Sling. How to use it, where it came from, and uh, what the point is. There are a lot of people out there who are diehard adherents of this sort of idea. There are also a bunch of people out there who just really couldn't care less. Uh, Cooper, Jeff Cooper, thought it was significant and relevant and important enough that it was included as an official part of the Steyr Scout package. So this particular sling has Cooper's logo embossed into it. It came with this rifle package, and well, it still does come with this rifle package at uh, Rock Island this weekend. So if you're interested in the Scout rifle and place a bid on it and win it, well, you're going to get the sling too, and now you know how to use it. Thanks for watching.